Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna run through the CO2 project air delivery system. Now, I've shown you in previous videos where we've had the tubes and I've talked about having those air bubblers from like an aquarium to do this test. Now, what I've got is a power supply which is running into that power supply unit that I've shown in another video. From that power supply, we're going to run 12 volts through into the meter so we can see the voltage and amperage into the plug which goes into the air pump itself. Now the air pump itself I purchased off eBay. I can't remember how much it was, maybe $50. Because of this test, I wanted to be able to pump an even amount of air through all of those tubes. Now the current and voltage of this pump is 12 volt and 35 watts. So we'll see that in the amperage of the meter in a minute. So we have the line out which goes into a distributor block or a splitter which you can see I've blocked two of those outputs off and then we have four of them which I've actually put a gap between them so to try and level out the amount of pressure just in case I don't know how it's going to affect it but it should balance out properly and we have those lines which I believe are three mil lines out to those air bubblers or the aquarium stones whatever you want to call them now the lines are all cut the identical length if I had different lengths in them it could affect the test so I'm making sure everything is the same across all four of those lines and here we have the four of them set up so all we need to do now is switch it on to test how much air is going through each of these tubes so as you can see the 12 volts has about three amps on it for this pump now as you can see across all four of them they look pretty balanced except for the one on the very left there. It looks like it's not getting as much air. Now, there are ways of actually trying to reduce the amount of air in some of the others by potentially clamping down the hose, having like a bit of resistance in there, which could balance out the air and push it into that fourth tube. So you can see if I hold down on some of these hoses and squish them, it actually blocks off a bit of air to some of those tubes and distributes it across to the other ones so that is a way of actually balancing it up but after a bit I actually thought well what I might try and do is change out one of the aquarium bubblers that left one and see if replacing it has any effect on that one which when I switch it out and turn it on it turns out that that fourth one or that one on the left actually had a I guess its own resistance in it that was causing it to not bubble as much so once I changed it out it worked out that they all had an even amount of air distributing so that's probably the closest I can get to distributing the air evenly across all those tubes so hopefully we don't have any skewed results across the four tests there so that's about it for this quick video now hopefully you're sticking along with the project go check out the rest of the playlist and make sure you subscribe for more videos make sure you hit that like button and thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time